<laughs> they finally learned how to play the banjo after all that time. I'm not sure what to say about this let's play. Considering what game we're playing, everybody, it's Banjo Tooie! The first game I ever played! <laughs> it's, it's just it's been a long time coming. <laughs> oh. Let's play. Yeah? What's the problem? Get your mind out of the gutter, son. Never. I want to forever. That's my test playthrough. This is the f one of these will be the playthrough we do. We got it, because you're number two or number three? Do you want a number two or you want a number three large? Or number Damn it, now you're making me want to pick and play Mumbo so we can do Shrek. Free! Pick number three, my lord! Huh. But anyway, guess what, everybody? This is the Xbox version of Banjo Tooie, which means the intro's out of sync with its music. Because instead of 30 frames per second, it's 60 frames per second. And, and because Joel is probably blind to this, am I pretty much correct on that? Yeah. I want to show the best experience of this. So we're gonna YouTube the, the N64 version. And then I'll show Joel how terrible the, the Xbox version is afterward. Well, that's a bit, a bit of a different tone from the original game. Wow. Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. Okay, she was dead. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, mistress. Still can sift rock. <laughs> All because of that stupid bear. Bumble play well as much of bear's cash. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your bird seed money. Don't be so sure, Banjo. Hey! Look outside, everyone! Grunty the Witch is coming! Where, Kazooie? I can't see her. Oh, uh, false alarm. Bottles. Must have been some shadows. Yes, this intro on, is very face. long, everybody. I feel lucky. Yeah, in case you didn't realize, Kazooie's not exactly a good person. She's not! How's your nuts, Bark Breath? I mean, beyond just the snarky insults. Oh no, rock. Oh no, another rock. Another rock. Another rock. Another rock. <laughs> How are those coins staying Stop upright? You're rocking the t table! You're making me sick! Oh boy, I'll walk to the whole house shakes lots. <laughs> Perhaps one of us should go take a look outside. But it's on rock types! Damn it, Grunty, you break all the rules! 
Nathan, I'm entrusting Insert. these two voices to you. Insert grunt. Oh, okay, I'll do it like this. Insert grunty wearing Ryuji's no more rules shirt. <laughs> Noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. Alright, it's dark out there, and uh, I'll be scared. Number much bread. We go look outside. Back in minute. I thought you were doing well. Well, well, I was, but you're doing him right now. Well, yeah, I started doing it because you weren't. Come on, man, don't give me a hand. Kazooie. I was trying to let you do it, and then you didn't do it, so I started doing it. Uh, well, my Mumbo and Banjo are too close anyway. Mumbo. Alright, I do it. Good, mistress. I failed you. Hey, hey, hey. Oi, grunty muscles. Then y'all be to get you while your sister's will. Real grunties. Oh, it was too good. Grunty sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic blast this rock. They have a whole book. That is literally the spell to break the rock in the book. Is that the only spell in the entire book? No, there's more on the other pages, apparently. Okay, okay. okay. I did not need this upskirt shot of Blob Elda. Oh, 
Daddy, you must. I need to leave. We are. Hold on, sis! I'm nearly there! I've just been to blast that bear! All the random pterodactyls we could find. Just have this bottle lying around. Uh, wait for me, mistress. No, no, Clungo, you stay here. I'll be back. Have no fear. Don't go, sad. Well, at least everyone got out safely. Everyone they even cared about, right? Hang on. Where's Goggle Boy? It's worse than that! Grunty's killed poor bottles! He wasn't a favorite character in Banjo Kazooie anyway. Kazooie! Sorry! Grunty recounts the two bottles. She must pay! Better bird, good after weeks! Mumbo, see you later. Great. I got to pack some great, I got to pack some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo! <sighs> I've a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. Was it so easy the first time? Here's my favorite part of the of of this being super wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 da. So yeah, that's the that's the volume being ruined. Anyway, this is what this is what what where what. now to actually start playing. Yay! Banjo keeps all of his moves from the begin from the ending of Banjo Kazooie. Which is a lot of moves. Look, I can still see my old dirt piles. Press B to interact with them to remind you of your original moves. In case you didn't play the first game. Oh, it's me, Preston. I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it. I can hardly breathe. But you're a fish. You shouldn't breathe at all. I can hardly breathe. Shut up and get rid of the border. <laughs> Stupid bad bird coming. They wait for the big boy. So yeah, pretty dark intro, huh, guys? Yeah, where it's like a lot of people got kicked off by the tone shift here. We'll see him later. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, as it said that you can head to the mole hills and and listen and get all the moves you and learn all the moves that you should have learned already that you sh learned in Banjo Kazooie. They're just all here. You can just go to them and you'll or relearn a bunch of them. Of course, you don't have to, but it helps. Because this is a very much harder game. This game is a lot harder than the original. 
When there, when he said, when Banjo said, I get a feeling it's not gonna be as easy as last time, he means it! <laughs> Yep. Missing pages. Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. That is still missing pages. How many pages that book have Well, in the first game, you just had to find them. You didn't have to collect any pages. Which, by the way, because of the upgrades that Banjo has in 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 the move in the move set with holding all the feathers and eggs, means that the Cheeto pages are canon. <laughs> Cheating is officially canon. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto, the magical spellbook. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Just hand over something useful. You're out of luck there, I'm afraid. Grunty ripped out all of my pages because I helped you in the last game. I'd be most grateful if you could look out for them on your travels. Maybe. What's in it for us? Well, for every five pages you return, I'll let you in on a little secret. You mean a cheat? Well, I'm not called Cheeto for nothing. Sorry, but you'll have to find more pages before I'll tell you a new cheat. Let's go find some pages, Banjo. I want a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do, because really. I think you can just find all the cheat. I think the cheat codes you can put them in without the cheat pages, but uh, you know, that's actual cheating. You can put them in without the cheat pages, but you know, that's actual cheating. And there's also a bunch of cheats in the original N64 version that you that you never got cheats that you never get cheats for, like invulnerability and such. And also unlocking worlds, which you put too many of those grunty grunty erases your new file. Uh, not in this game actually. Not in this game, but in the original. Don't be cheating, grunty. Oh, your game pack out of your ace! Hey, speaking of game pack! <laughs> oh. Huh. Uh, I guess that's her version of erasing it. Anyway, we can't do anything here yet. So, remember this. By the way, remember a lot of these. Banjo-Tooie Banjo is very, very, very backtrack heavy. Like, incredibly backtrack heavy. A lot of it revolves around the also like getting moves to get those access to things because, well, a lot of the things in Banjo because we ever get off like basic moves, you can't really do that as much here. Yep. All the, all the basic moves are already part of your arsenal, so they have to come with some pretty weird moves later. Anyway, Spiral Mountain has nothing there left for us at the moment, so into the digger tunnel. Tigger. It's like Tigger, but he goes down instead of up. <laughs> and it's another word his you should not like, say while drunk. <laughs> his tail's in Krios, his tail's like a drill. Raven and Bandit will cause so much trouble to Mistress Hmm, I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> You are stupid. At least you can speak properly. Logo is mad now. No game and seer. That was a pretty short game. How do you guys think about it? <laughs> oh, oh, kind of boring. Any. Yeah, yeah, really oh, go, go, squash. 
Number from the right behind magic shield. So the Klungo so my special potion. So the Klungo bosses are actually different at each each file because there are three different potions Klungo can be using. He can use a multiply one, a a grow himself bigger one, or an invisibility one. The potions are the same, but but you can have different ones each each time you play a file. Oh, anyway, also Klungo is pathetically easy the first time, where you will only hear like a minute of his like three minute battle theme. <laughs> Even with him hiding inside freaking bubbles. Nasty burn bird or Klungo. You asked for it. Why don't you run off, and we'll forget this ever happened? Look what I hear, but do not see last of Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Klungo, with broomstick. Ah, uh, so Klungo's one of those kinds of people that wants his mistress to beat on them. <laughs> Good to know! I keep expecting you to roll and then start and then like start accelerating a whole bunch, but then I remember this is in Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, here's the most nostalgic theme in the whole game for me. This is my childhood in one freaking music track. <laughs> Because every time you start up the game, this is the area you spawn in. I see. So every single time you turn on the game, this is the music that greets you. So this is, I'm, I'm sure for some people it was like Kokiri Forest or something. I'm not sure what it would have been for me, honestly. Might just be the revolt menu theme or something like that. They're all gone! Come and see me in my throne room, and I'll tell you what happened! This is my palace! Not bad, eh? Just come on in and see the Jinxter! <laughs> okay. All the Luigi's have been kidnapped. This is one of our silos. Open up some more to create a network of shortcut tunnels. Yes, this is a big enough world map where we need these. <laughs> Oof. It went all out on the world map. This is an information sign for Press B right next to it. Tutorial, tutorial. In loving memory of the Grey Jinjo family, just away unexpectedly when a huge digging machine flattened their house. So yeah, Grunty's killed so far, uh, Bottles, and I believe this is, I believe, seven Grey Jinjos. Just count eight. <laughs> Remember Happy-Go-Lucky Pancho kazooie now we have a whole, like, freaking, like, yes, serial yeah. murder on our hands now. Well, it's all because you dared to touch Gruntilda's booty. <laughs> Damn it! You're right! It's all a murder. Anyway, let's go see the Jingster. <laughs> Jingling. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling, king of all things Jingyo, and ruler of this village. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kinda like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball game tournament next week. Doesn't seem that important to me. But it is! There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles. Which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. 
Jiggy number one. I believe you should go and see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest. It's all true. He's very important to your adventure as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Can you show us the way, King ding -a -ling? It'll be my pleasure. Oh, right, Bottles has a... Oh, God, Bottles has a family. <laughs> Are we gonna explain this? Oh. Um, your, your father was kidnapped by Gruntilda. <laughs> Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, the strange bat thing was cool. Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy there. Meanwhile, back at the Legion of Doom! Oddly enough, every other cutscene is perfectly fine sound-wise. It's only the intro. Mm. Come on, sisters! Time I elect! What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming ease, so stop it or we will not tell. Ow! Oh, if I must. And there's Rare being like, thank god we don't have to come up with more! An evil and heartless plan! I like it! How long will it take to suck up enough life force? So start blasting! By the way, if anyone doesn't get it, BOB can be is another acronym for big for battery operated boyfriend. And then you look at the button, suck and blow. Yep. Good old rare. <laughs> Heard of that term before. So now we know what Grunty wants. Oh, by the way, another death. <laughs> Mind him? What about that traitor jingling? He's dead. Uh, he is, actually. <laughs> well, he's, <zombified. laughs> he's just a zombie now. Also, his pet. So, plus two. <laughs> Wait, is this a kill or is it like a half a kill? Six times. was jingling's life force we have. Right then, girls! Let's blast the whole island! Ha! I wouldn't worry! Banjo's got no one to help him now that Mole and Jingling are gone! He'll never get to us in time! Which made Kidney think this game was under a time limit. It's not. You can take over a hundred hours and, and the thing will never charge. I 
I'm sure everything's fun. Good thing, good thing we were just, we were just outside that blast radius. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, let's go see Jingling. Zombie eyes through the room. So does this count as a kill, or half a kill, because he's technically the living dead, or...? Well, he... Yeah, yeah they, she killed him and then animated his corpse. He's dead. <laughs> Old King Cole? Oh yeah, he's a right one. But yeah, I guess so. So I guess as far as you're concerned, a kill is a kill. You can't, you can't have only have only half a kill. Yes. <laughs> okay. By the way, you can't attack him, and he has infinite health. But he can't attack you, so don't actually just run it up to him. If you talk, if you stay in the throne room enough times, he will actually start keep speaking about random things. Not really random after a lot, after after you play l later ones though. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, <laughs> that's another death. What was the first death again? Bottles. Oh, right. <laughs> But he wasn't a popular character, so I don't think anyone cares. Yeah, you're right. Nobody cares. No, you and his family, right? Da 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 He's probably a dead deep guy or something. If we sneak around, maybe we won't have to tell anybody about it. Hello there, Banjo! How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And yourself? Oh, fine, fine. Oh, what about Ghosty Boy? Keep quiet, Kazooie! What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. Never misses his dinner, you know? Er, uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mrs. B. Oh, by the way, guess what? <laughs> oh, yeah, for once I... Somewhat agree with. There's a monster in the bedroom. <laughs> of course. Was it, was it hiding under the bed before we got here? No, it was just walk. It's just walking around. So I don't agree with her methods, but for once I do agree with with Kazooie. They probably should tell her. <laughs> Where has my bottles got to? I need him back here to deal with that monster in our bedroom. We got the tower, Banjo. Not now, Kazooie. Well, at least it's not like they have a lot of... Oh, dear. Also, what do you mean this is Donkey Kong? This clearly isn't Donkey Kong. Since you and Daddy are such good friends, I'll give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them by any chance? Oh yes, I believe they're called the Amazo Gates glasses. How do they work? Well, when in Banjo's eyes view, use right stick up and down to zoom in and out. Not bad. In the original game, it's it's C stick. It this isn't Donkey Kong. It does have a DK on the tie. That's literally all they changed from this in the N64 version. There's no DK on the tie, which means it's not Donkey Kong. Just some random monkey. Hey, look, Jet Force Gemini. Oh, I thought that was an accident. <laughs> oh, the Amazo glasses is working now. I'm sure my daddy will be able to fix them if they're not broken. But can anyone fix daddy? Well, why does he need fixing? Her kazooie means your mom is just fixing up his dinner. Oh, that's alright then. I was afraid you meant he'd been blasted by a fatal spell or something. <laughs> no, I want to leave the thing. Shut up! See, I saw the bottom half of the picture on the wall and I thought it was Ratchet. 
You're right, because this Xbox game clearly has the rights to that PlayStation character. And not a rare character. I, I haven't played Ratchet and Clank. I don't remember what system he's on. Hey there, Banjo! Hi, Specky! Me and my dad are going to be playing in the in the kickball tournament next week over at the Mayan Stadium. King Jingling has organized it especially for my dad, since he's such a hero. Uh, I don't suppose you have any substitutes. Why would we need a substitute? My dad is the best on the team! I'm sure he was. Er is. And did you know that tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? You might find it useful. We already know that. King Dangling is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up especially for us. Nice! What is he Again. Yeah, another Jet Force Gemini picture. By the way, an N64 quality, I had no idea what the hell they said. <laughs> Cause back in... Now it looks slightly better, you can just wanna read it. You can read it, it's fine. It's, it's the logo. Anyway, I know this episode's getting a bit long, but I wanna finish up the... I am Jiggy Wiggy, and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman first. Is that your doorman? What, the bird? I got past him! I did it! Have fun, Nathan. Anyways, I'm doing everything I work for the Lord of the Sacred Temple to keep out those who are not worthy. Sounds like fun. Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourself worthy to enter, you must collect. I may have just forged you himself. What about these images look like? That sounds familiar. Let's see what you have then. If you have collected enough jiggies to be allowed inside, remember, no cameras permitted, and only food purchased at big jiggies can be eaten within. <laughs> By the way, we never see Mick Jiggies, and that makes me really sad. So, should, I, should we mention the fact that he has human hands but a jiggy head? No. That was the problem with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Greetings, O oh Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Secret! I forgot about this. Have you looked on the roof of the Red Jinjo House? Which you world is where fortune may smile upon you. No, I won't. Me and Nathan, no. Your egg container followed by jingling? I, I could tell you all about how much fortune doesn't smile on you, but that would be spoils. We'll get to there. <laughs> Anyway, to open the world, this might look familiar. You must complete the image before you if you wish to travel to where it shows. Use the left stick to guide your hand. Press A to pick up a piece. And once a piece is held, it can be placed down by pressing A or returned to the outside by pressing X. You only have a limited time to prove yourself. May Jiggy Wiggy grant you luck. By the way, if you fail, if you fail, fail a puzzle too many times, you will get infinite time. And, and by the 
of a fun point about these. Uh, the original, uh, on the original Xbox 360 for the original game, there was a bug where, uh, you know, Ben could sometimes grab notes in this, like, live preview. Yeah, yeah, it's, if you grab those in the original version of the game, uh, it, those notes would be gone, but they wouldn't be at your total print. You could never get out of those things. They, they fixed that pretty quickly. <laughs> You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge one, so now the great one will show you the way. It's a pretty easy challenge, honestly. But they'll probably get harder, and they might get a little harder later. Perhaps. Behold the power of the mighty Jimmy Wiggy! So, also, I freaking love this. Giant laser! What does it do? <laughs> Open up the door. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a keyblade beam! It's a keyblade beam! You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge 2. Come back later when you do. Oh, why is he rhyming now? Because because he doesn't show up as much, <laughs> which means that that rare doesn't have to <laughs> have to keep making grunty quotes. By the so way, should I mention the fact that he has human hands but a jiggy head? No. And that his eyes are two D objects. No. Okay. So I assume no, the I four means you need four jiggies for the next one. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's you need four of them now. Which means you can really easily just head into the first level and then just get the jiggies and then go off. And uh, thankfully you don't need as many jiggies on the ones that are available to finish this game, so... Yeah, I believe you can miss, like, I believe you can miss twen... I think you can miss 20 of the 90 jiggies. Yeah, there's only 90 jiggies in that one, sadly, not the 100 in the, in the last game. There was originally going to be 100, but they scrapped the world because all, this game was already hitting 30 frames per second on the N64. How do you think adding another world would go? <laughs> yeah, and also, I imagine there's also, you know, cartridge space might have been making things so down. Like, yeah, this sure. is a very big game, <laughs> regardless. A bit too big, but we'll get to that once we get later in this game. Anyway, Joel, what do you think? It's pretty neat so far. A lot of people are put off by the dark tone, but I like the dark tone. Yeah. I think it kind of works. I think it kind of works to, like, make this game feel distinct from the previous one and not just feel like, oh, we're just doing, doing it again. We're just doing... Banjo, but again. Yep. <laughs> anyway, ne serious. next time on Banjo Kazooie, we won't be exploring the first world quite yet. We have one more thing to go to. Then we'll explore the first. Start exploring the first world. See you guys then. Take care. Bye. I had to show off that animations at least once. <laughs>